So, how was your weekend? It was amazing! I went to a beautiful lake. Interesting. Which lake? Lake Como. It was very beautiful. Huh. And what did you do there? We went to a beautiful restaurant and we had a beautiful dish. It sure was beautiful, right? Yes, everything was beautiful. Our room was beautiful. We had a beautiful view. The food was beautiful, the restaurant was beautiful, and we met some beautiful people there. Everything was very beautiful. Ah, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Can he use anything instead of beautiful? Hello, my name is Maddie from POC English. The reason why many students think that their English is not good enough or that they are not improving is because they use simple words all the time. So, what is the solution? Mm. The solution is to learn some alternatives to simple overused words. And that is what we're going to do in this lesson. So, let's start with the first overused word, which is an adjective. That is beautiful. Now, we hear beautiful almost every day and every time. Beautiful weather, beautiful day, beautiful boy, beautiful baby, beautiful dress, beautiful flowers. But enough with beautiful. What else can we use? The first adjective we can use instead of beautiful is gorgeous. Gorgeous, which means very beautiful. Now, we can use gorgeous to describe a room. For example, wow, this room is gorgeous. You can use it to describe a dress. Whoa, you're going to a party tonight? What a gorgeous dress! Or you can also use it to talk about a color. For example, look at my golden play button. The color is gorgeous. Another way you can use the adjective gorgeous is to describe a girl and say, Whoa, look at her. She is gorgeous. It means she's very beautiful. But can we use this for boys? Well, not really. I mean, you can, but it doesn't really sound right. It's better if you use handsome, attractive, or good looking for guys. Another way you can use gorgeous is to describe the weather. Ooh, what a gorgeous weather, isn't it? Another alternative to beautiful is pretty. Pretty, which means beautiful and pleasant to look at. For example, this is a pretty jumper, isn't it? You can use it to talk about babies. For example, Jessica has a pretty daughter. Again, you can use it to describe girls. She is pretty. You cannot normally use it for guys. Again, for guys, it's better to say handsome, attractive, or good looking. It can also be used to describe flowers. Wow, look at those pretty flowers. The next alternative is stunning. Stunning, which means extremely beautiful. Wow, that dress is stunning. That dress is stunning. Very beautiful. Or another example, our hotel had a stunning view of the Eiffel Tower. Our hotel in Paris had a stunning view of the Eiffel Tower. You could see the Eiffel Tower from its window. Another alternative to beautiful, which is very common, is attractive attractive. Now this is gender neutral, which means you can use it for boys and girls. You can say, wow, that guy is attractive or that girl is attractive. Another one, which I really like is cute. Cute. Now cute means beautiful and sweet. Now we usually use cute for babies, for animals, especially for pets like cats and dogs. For example, wow, what a cute puppy or what a cute kitten, what a cute cat. Oh, what a cute baby. You can also use it for guys and girls, especially girls. That girl is cute. I like her. It means she has an innocent, sweet face. And the last alternative to beautiful, which is a formal and a very lovely word, exquisite. Exquisite. Exquisite means beautiful, elegant, and delicate. For example, an exquisite painting, an exquisite piece of art an exquisite dress, or an exquisite lady. Check her out. She's gorgeous. Well, she's not that pretty. Are you kidding? She's stunning. Yeah. Oh, check her out. Now she is attractive. Who? Her? Uh, I mean, she's kind of cute, but not really my type. Are you serious? She is exquisite. Uh, 
Enough with beautiful. Let's talk about another overused adjective, which is hard. Now, hard means difficult. They are synonymous. However, instead of hard and difficult, what else can you use? The first alternative is challenging. Challenging. For example, I'm working on a challenging project. That means it's difficult. It requires skills. Another alternative is tough. Tough. Now, tough means difficult, but it's a little bit informal. For example, our teacher gave us a tough task or a tough assignment to do. Now, if something is difficult and is confusing, you can say it's puzzling. Puzzling. For example, the plot of the movie was puzzling. I couldn't understand that. The movie had a puzzling plot. It was difficult to understand and it was very confusing. Uh, have you seen the movie Inception by Christopher Nolan? Well, if you haven't, you should watch it because it's very puzzling, but I really liked it. Another alternative to hard or difficult is complicated. Complicated. It means difficult to understand. For example, the instructions were complicated. I couldn't follow them. I did not understand the instructions because they were complicated. And the last alternative I want to teach you for the adjective hard or difficult is demanding. Demanding. Now, when something is demanding, it requires a lot of work, skills, and knowledge. It is often used for jobs and tasks. For example, I have a demanding job or that is a demanding task. So, how was work today? Not so good. I'm working on a very challenging project. It must be tough. Yeah. The project description is very puzzling. Wow. What a complicated situation. Mm -hmm. I have a demanding job. So far, we have learned some very good alternatives for beautiful and hard. Now it is time to talk about the third overused adjective in English. But before that, let me tell you something. Do you want to have the summary of all my YouTube lessons in a PDF book so that you can watch the videos, take a look at the summary notes and review them? If your answer is yes, you can download my English book. This book has all the summaries of all of my YouTube videos in it and it has 400 pages. Now the fun part, this book is free for my YouTube subscribers. But how can you download it? Simply click on the link above my head, go to my website, type in your name, email address, and click download. You will receive the link in your inbox. And now let's get back to the lesson. Another adjective which is overused is smart. I'm sure you've heard this one a lot. But what can we use instead of smart? One alternative is bright bright, which means smart and clever. We can use bright for people. For example, they were bright children, always asking questions. You can also use bright for ideas. He always has many bright ideas. Another alternative, which is a bit formal, is knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Now, someone who's knowledgeable has a lot of knowledge about something, knows a lot about something. For example, he is very knowledgeable about German literature and history. It means he knows a lot about German literature and history. Another alternative, which I'm sure you've heard, is wise. Wise. Pay attention to pronunciation. Wise. I do not say wise. My lip does not touch my teeth. That is V. This is W. And W is only with your lips. Wise. Say it with me wise. You can use wise for people. For example, I talked to a wise old man. You can also use it for choices or decisions. For example, it's not a wise choice to make or it's not a wise decision to make. An interesting but informal alternative to smart is brainy. Brainy. Now, someone who's brainy is smart. For example, Sarah was a gorgeous and brainy girl. Now, brainy was informal, but I have a formal alternative, which is intelligent. Intelligent. For example, he is a highly intelligent person or she is a very intelligent young woman. Hmm. So 
How do we solve this problem? I don't know. Oh, come on. You always have bright ideas. I'm not as knowledgeable as you think I am. Nah, you're the wisest person I know. Oh, thanks. Okay, so give me a solution for this. I really have no idea. But let's ask Jack. He's brainy. Oh, yes. He's a very clever person. I love him. He's the most intelligent person I know. Jack, how do we solve this problem? I don't know. Want to play some games? And that's it, guys. In this lesson, we have learned a lot of advanced and cool alternatives to overused English adjectives. Don't forget to review and practice them. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. See ya.